friends this is a routine cataract surgery this is the main incision it's a 2.8 millimeter incision and now viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber the patient is under topical anesthesia now two side ports are made on on the right side another on on the left side of the main incision now capsulorexis is to be done I use a 26 case band needle to incise the capsule raise the flap then I use a uterta forceps to complete the rexis viscoelastic substance has been sprayed over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and it also protects the corneal endothelium quite well the capsular tag has been raised I hold this capsular tag with a uterita forceps go anticlockwise try to remain at equal distance all around from the border of the people and make an adequate sized rexis. In this case the capsular rexis size has been on the smaller side about say 5 millimeter or so. Now hydro dissection is done. Hydro dissection should be done very nicely we should see that the fluid wave is going to the opposite side and then as we ballot the nucleus the fluid wave should come anteriorly along the border of the equator now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece and I usually do submarine chop that is a variety of horizontal chop what I do is I directly enter into the substance of the nucleus the tip of the FACO handpiece is buried into the substance of the nucleus like this FACO 2 mode power in this case is about 75 percent go into the substance of the nucleus the tip is totally buried and it goes towards the opposite equator and reaching near the opposite equator the chopper divides the nucleus into two halves you are going through the nucleus means you are at a sufficiently deeper level and you can divide the nucleus at on go so no need of trenching no need of stop and chop anything just go through the nucleus and chop it and divide it into two halves and then do similar maneuvers and divide the other parts of the nucleus into several fragments now each fragment is brought at the center of the anterior chamber at the capsular plane yes we can see the rexis margin and we can make out at what plane the capsular axis the anticapsular rim is we can emulsify the nuclear pieces being at the center of the capsular axis opening in that way what we do is we remain at a safe distance from the corneal endothelium as well as from the posterior capsule and thus we prevent both we prevent endothelial damage and we prevent a posterior capsular rupture in routine cases this is the epinucleus it is also coming off very well that's it the nucleus and epinucleus has been removed and now 
some cortical lens matter is there viscoelastic substance is injected at this stage again it protects the corneal endothelium and it keeps the antechamber formed for some time when we remove this cortical matter yes this is a 23 gauze simco cannula and i manage the cortex very well with this and it takes lesser time in my hands than by manual irrigation aspiration this is the end point of cortical management and now intraocular lens implantation is to be done this is hydro polish irrigating proof of bimanual IA is used to polish the posterior capsule only the irrigating fluid the irrigating jets are directed towards the posterior capsule where the cells are sticking the cells get dislodged and nice polishing occurs in a very short time now this is an intraocular lens this is a beautiful lens from Upper Sami Associates Super Fob thin lens unfolds very easily but not very fast ideal unfolding which we surgeons want that's it now this is moxifloxacin we attach too much importance on intracameral moxifloxacin I use it just for anterior chamber lavage if we take precautions in every step then intracameral moxifloxacin is okay but should not get so much importance as we attach to it most important thing is at the conclusion of surgery all the wounds should be nicely sealed there should not be any wound leak from any site and we should not depend on air should not inject air and just leave it like that all the wounds should be watertight this is the final lavage the attachment is formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for watching hope this video will give you lot of tips